few years ago, a divorce lawyer in Chicago put up a billboard that said, life is too short, get a divorce, or is life too short, get a divorce. That raised a lot of controversy. It seemed like the lawyer was encouraging divorce. We don't encourage people to get a divorce. We really take a neutral position on it. We're here to help you get through the process as quickly, as inexpensively as possible. But the question comes up, is divorce always a negative? Can people benefit from a divorce? Well, certainly there's some relationships that people just shouldn't be in. Uh, an abusive relationship would be an example um, of, a, of a, a relationship that needs to end. There's other relationships where uh, they might be fighting over one issue, say it's finance, and they just can't see eye to eye on spending. And what I'll recommend to, to them is, well, maybe they can agree on finances and stay married. Maybe they can divide up their property, and so uh, they're not going to fight about it anymore. So you would advise people to get a postnuptial agreement to deal with, for example, a financial issue if that was creating that stress in the marriage. Exactly. It's important to know the source of the problem. I mean, it's not that we're trying to pry, but we need to understand what exactly is going on in this relationship. And, and if it's some issue that maybe they can put aside to salvage the relationship, um, you know, I think it's important for us to explore options other than a divorce. Now, we don't take the role of a therapist, and we do recommend that people seek counseling before they come to us. And in fact, most people have exhausted those remedies. They've gone to therapists, they've gone to counselors, they've talked about it. Why? Because going to a divorce lawyer is frightening for people, it, it, it's costly, so they are going to exhaust those remedies. So by the time we see them, they've done that process, and they're pretty determined, or they've been threatened by their spouse. There's also um, issues that might come up with religion, where um, their religious beliefs preclude them from getting a divorce. And there are some options available there uh, where they can do a legal separation. So their marital status has remained intact, um, but their property has been divided. There's orders regarding custody. There's orders regarding support. So uh, there are ways of working, working with those individuals. Um, there, there are also cases where we uh, see parties who maybe one wants the divorce, the other doesn't want the divorce. And um, the one that doesn't want the divorce is really dragging their feet and uh, making this process much more expensive and time consuming to go through. How do you deal with people like that? I mean, we do recommend counseling for those people and sometimes it's a timing issue. Eventually they will come to the realization that the, this marriage is not working out. So until they realize that, they are going to dig their feet. They're going to make the divorce more expensive, more costly. The emotional issues clearly dictate the cost of a divorce, how smoothly it's going to go, how much time they spend in court, and how the process goes. And it, it is involved both parties. Um, if both parties aren't on the same page, meaning that they agree that there's going to be a divorce and they agree conceptually how things are going to be divided, there's going to be a fight, it's going to go on, it's going to be expensive. And sometimes pushing works, sometimes pulling works better. So you sort of have to, to, have to look at the climate and understand what's going to work best in that particular case. Um, sometimes backing off is the best strategy. Sometimes pushing forward is we just really have to evaluate it case by case.